Naturally, Fashion Week in Paris ended on October 3rd with a glorious, kissy face gala. But a bracing morning after Coda was provided to the assembly by a curious, if not outright itchy, worry plaguing the tray chic hordes. Whether the dozens of obligatory fly-bys to the many venues across the week had led to an unwanted encounter with one of Paris's leading entomological citizens, Cymex lectularius, or the common bedbug. Paris has been experiencing a steep spike in the blood-sucking critters lately, not that they have ever been truly eradicated from any world capital. But the recent spike in Paris has been painful, and two concurrent events, Fashion Week and the month-long Rugby World Cup, won by South Africa by one point on October 28, have ensured that the additional few million October visitors to France will be checking and sanitizing their clothes and luggage closely upon their return home. But before we strap on the metaphorical hazmat suits and respirators for a deep dive into proven methods of detection and combat, first, a brief Baedeker on the taxonomy and habits of the highly agile, and ancient, parasite. Fact is, bedbugs have been our fellow travelers for millennia, and will continue to be so. Cymex lectularius are nocturnal and have adapted to attack their hosts for blood as they, the hosts, are most vulnerable, namely, as they are unconscious. According to the theory, as humans moved from a nomadic to a more domesticated existence, the parasites found us to be more opportunistic prey in that we slept, more or less dependably, in the same place. But of course they were with us before that, which, according to the theory, is the evolutionary key to the bedbug's fantastic ability to hitchhike in latter-day clothing, bedding, accoutrements, furniture, luggage, upholstery, and places of assembly. Put another way, globally speaking, there is no such thing as eradication, there's only combat, as our friends the French are discovering. And there are bigger worries made by far larger international assemblies than any mere fashion week in Paris immediately down the line. Next year's Olympics in France and in Paris are going to be a nightmare as the city fills literally to the gills with delegations, families, officials and the like. The government expects 15 million spectators over the course of the Olympiad, locals included. Not so fast, say the scientists. The reason that there seem to be a resurgence of bedbugs in Paris around this fall's fashion week is that some pesky fashion, influencers, and the attendant press who love every twist and turn of every fashion week bungle, magnified the experience of human bedbug encounters to the point hat it simply seemed as if there had been a Cymex lectularius spike. No less an entomological authority than Scientific American weighed in on the fashion week debate.